What's up? Today, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on sampling and sample and chopping up samples uh, because I got a request for that on my latest tutorial. And uh, I guess I didn't go in depth enough. I kind of brushed over it. I, I do that a lot in my From Scratch videos. They're really quick. So maybe I'll do more tutorials like this where I dive deeper into sort of the, the techniques and stuff that I that I use in those videos that I don't really go too in depth on. So I got this sample here. It's the exact same sample I used in my logic uh, type uh, beat tutorial from January, I think. But I'm not going to just chop it up the exact same way I did in that video. I'm going to use a different portion of this sample uh, and create something completely different. So let's see here. Uh, what I want to do is I want, there's three chords in here that I want to sample. And I'm going to get rid of the beginning part there. And here's the chords. Very jazzy. That has that vinyl crackle to it. I like that. Uh, so let's get into it here. The first thing I want to line these, I want to line this, these blobs, this blob here, this blob here up with these markers, the one and two. So I'm just going to change the tempo until the lines up. So around 107 looks good. I'm going to cut each chord like that. And then I'm going to make each of them unique as a sample. So call this chord one. Do the same thing here. Chord two. And actually, I got to make sure that I get this one chopped right. So let's see, chord three has an extra extra bit of stuff on the end that I don't want. So let's see. Yeah, I don't want that. Um. Okay, that sounds good. Let's mix down this one here, make unique chord. Uh, three. Okay, chord three is too short, so what we can do in that case is we can come over here, grab chord three, change it to tonal, because if you have it on resample, it's going to change the pitch when you time stretch it. And you don't want that because it'll be out of key. So stretch that. Let's bring it back. I'd have to stretch it a bit more. And bring it back again. Probably going to be some artifacts in it. Okay. Um, actually, let's do the same thing with these as well. Let's stretch these. Tonal. Ugh, can't see that one. Got to make sure I'm stretching it right. Is that good? I think so. Get chord one tonal time stretch that one. Now we're free to change the tempo. I'll just put it up to one forty four. That kind of took care of some of the artifacts from stretching chord three so much. Now we need one more chord to complete the four bar loop. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of a bit of music theory. You might go about it in a, in a you might go about it in a different way, but this is what I want to do because this sounds like a jazzy sort of chord progression. So um, I think that this little music theory trick will reinforce that jazzy vibe. And the trick is to um, use a chord that isn't in the scale, but resolve it with a chord that is. So uh, the way you do that is that you can borrow a note or a chord from 
another scale as long as you resolve the chord by moving a semitone step downward or upward. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this unique. So now chord one, number two, right here, it's already in tonal because it was cloned from the first one we did. And I'm just going to pitch it up by 100 cents, which is the same as one semitone. Now this chord wouldn't naturally be in this scale, but since, since this is chord one, pitched up by 100 cents, and it's resolved by chord one naturally, which is 100 cents less than this, which is one semitone less, it's going to sound, it's going to sound fine. It's going to have sort of a jazzy feel to it. Uh, let's see. Definitely some jazzy vibes. Now here, I already set up some reverb and uh, EQ with a low cut. So let's send all of these to mixer track one and see if that sounds a bit better because this chord three kind of cuts out. If you probably noticed that it cuts out before uh, the last chord comes in and uh, I don't really like how that sounds. So let's see if this sounds a bit better, a bit smoother. Definitely, definitely a bit smoother. Uh, you can play around with this all day and just, uh, you know, mess around with it and try to get it to sound as perfect as you want it to sound. But I think it sounds pretty good the way it is and it's ready pretty much to just start adding drums and whatever else to it. But yeah, that's basically it. That's how you chop a sample. That's how I would chop this sample. And uh, that, yeah, that's it. So chop it up, line it up, uh, time stretch, pitch shift. Uh, that basically covers everything uh, as far as I know anyway. But yeah, uh, hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed the video. And that's it. Peace.